The Icon School of Medicine has decided that we need to make a major commitment to public health. We have a long history here at the school in a commitment to public health and making discoveries that literally help millions of people. We are number four in the United States in terms of NIH research funding devoted to public health. And we have multiple departments that do focus on public health. This is an important moment in our history. This is an opportune time to do even more. My passion is to bring the public health lens to medicine. That's been my passion over my whole career. Mount Sinai has strengths in public health in different areas of the institution, in different pockets, women's health, global health, genomic sciences. The problem is they're still happening in different siloed areas. Our vision is to have public health fully woven into the fabric of the medical school and the Mount Sinai health system creating an entity that is really quite unique nationally. The charge for the Dean for Public Health and the Department of Public Health is really to bring those pieces together. By bringing together what's being done in exposomics, comprehensively measuring the environment, and genomics, where we're comprehensively looking at the genetics, your heritability, bringing together folks that are looking at more social determinants of health. It's really the mixture of all those things that's important and being able to then work with our computational scientists and our computer scientists to be able to take on that big data analysis, which we're very poised to do here at Mount Sinai. Zipco actually predicts someone's health way better than your DNA sequence. And we're trying to help clinicians understand the impact of environment, the impact of neighborhood on their patient's health, so that when a patient comes in, we say, oh, maybe they're being exposed to chemicals, and that's why they need more and more treatment. We're at a pivotal place in medicine to understand that we need to harness the expertise of computational scientists who can help us interpret large types of data and use things like artificial intelligence so that we can give to the frontline healthcare provider seeing the patient some fingerprint that says, you might want to manage this person a little differently. I think we're entering a new era, and this could be a big turning point in clinical medicine. We're finally at the point where we have the tools to do it. We need to bring now together the people who are thinking about this collectively in a comprehensive way to really make it come to fruition and have impact on our patients. Mm -hmm.